Do you find yourself having sexist thoughts against women? Do you think get back in the kitchen jokes are funny? Then sit down, buddy, because I got a story for you. Throughout all ages, minorities in a population have been discriminated against, one such group being women. Many a debate has been held over a woman's place, drawing arguments from anatomy, religion, and cultural aspects of life. Despite all these claims being made throughout history, there is a simple answer to every discussion to be held about a woman's status. A woman's place in society is simply the same as a man's, whether it be in government or social life or in her in the ability to be free. A woman is equal to a man. In recent ages, women's struggles have been increasingly more prevalent. Throughout all ages, many women have been struggling for their rights, whether it be Mary Wollstonecraft writing a vindication of the rights of women, to a needlepoint stating a woman's place is in the revolution. Which is especially ironic because needlepoint was one of the activities women took up when they were forced to stay in the house. As years progressed, women gained the right to vote. After a long, hard battle with men who simply believed that women's voices were not valid, especially when it came to matters in the government. There are also some people that say, now that women have the right to vote, why do we even need a feminist movement? Don't we have enough rights already? The answer to that question is no. For example, some people believe that the lack of women representation in the government is an issue that needs to be addressed immediately. It may not seem like a strong issue, but to some people it means that the rights of women are not properly identified and their struggles are not made valid by someone who doesn't quite understand, meaning the white rich males that are currently in our government. Now, we've seen an increase in female politicians and people of color as well, but improvements can always be made. Unfortunately, the struggles of women aren't actually just limited to us here in our little bubble of the United States of America. Women all over the world face discrimination, oppression, and even assault every single day of their lives. One of the countries with a very high number of sexual assaults is South Africa, where a lot of attacks on elderly women and children are very common, with a lot of victims not being identified and their attackers unprosecuted. Women in every country, regardless of socioeconomic status, whether they've had multiple sexual partners or none, regardless of the color of their skin, deserve a chance to be free from sexual assault, free from the fear of being kicked out of their own home. There are women that are attacked for simply saying no to someone who wants to marry them. They don't have a freedom of choice. And the belief that we don't actually need feminism, and a belief that, oh, a woman's place is already equal to men because we have these few rights, that's not true. That's only here. It's sickening and heartbreaking to see stories of women who have been killed for exercising their personal human right to say no all over the globe. There were women's rights marches. The women's marches were not only here in the United States, but in India, in Portugal, in Greece, all over the world, women are now standing up for their right to be free. And I believe that they shouldn't have to stand up for a right that they already should have. One of the more fascinating things to look at is actually the evolution of a woman's role in the United States from the 1900s to the 2000s. In the 1900s, it was expected that women were to stay at home, dress conservatively, cook, clean, and do light manual labor in the house. And fast forward to today, when we had one of the first really big nominees for our presidential campaign last year. And it goes to show that not every woman belongs sitting at home and doing nothing. I'm not hating on anybody's lifestyle. Some women want, want to be stay-at-home moms. They want to spend time with their kids, and that's cool. Some dads do that too. That's cool too. Some women run a business, and then they have still have time for families and fun and everything, and that is awesome. There are some people that really truly believe that a woman's place is in the kitchen. One of the more fun things I've seen is a forum from Russell Springs, Kentucky, in which it states, our nation is crumbling and it all started when women decided they could leave the kitchen. Whether it was meant to be a joke or not, it had a severe little impact on me because I believe that our nation is crumbling when we split into two political parties with particular agendas that do not benefit those with bipartisan beliefs. Our government didn't start crumbling when women decided to leave the kitchen. It started crumbling when we elected a politician whose most famous line is but that's none of my business. In the world, women everywhere have made strides over time to increase their social status and their place in society, and for the most part, progress has been made. Even though we have made changes in the United States, especially in recent years, there are still countries on this planet that believe women are lesser beings simply based on either the misinterpreted writings of a man thousands of years ago, or the belief that women must stay and watch the children and stay in a house due to their delicate nature. Regardless of this, a woman's place is still one equal to men. You may have noticed in this video, there's not a single reference to exactly what a man's place is. This is because a man's place in society is set. Men can't move any further. It's a common misconception that when women gain social status, men lose some of theirs. 
which, when you do the social math, is just not true. Feminism is the belief that women should be equal to men, not women above men. Why on earth would someone waste perfectly good oxygen protesting equity and progress for women when it is not a threat nor a problem to the people the social system benefits?